So lately, not only in private messages, but in public comments under my videos, I've seen an awful lot of DJs tell me that they're ready to leave this business. This whole COVID-19 thing has just kicked their butts. They've had a lot of cancellations, they don't feel safe out there anymore, and they're ready to leave. I don't blame them. I mean, this business has always been a revolving door, and when the whole pandemic hit, I kind of felt like we were going to see a mass exodus eventually. I will say this though, most of the DJs who are leaving this business already had their eye on the exit. I've got a friend out in California, we'll call him a fool. I've known him for about 12 years, and every year he says the same thing. I don't know how many more years I can do this. I might have to retire soon. Of course he's still doing it. But he's got his eye on the exit. And COVID-19, pandemic, cancellations, yeah, here's a really great opportunity to go ahead and hit that exit if that's what you were going to do anyway. Others have a lot of overhead. Maybe they're doing big production stuff. They have a storefront, they have a storage facility, a large vehicle that they have, commercial vehicle they have to haul this stuff around in. The overhead's killing them. So they're getting out. Don't blame you. Others got into this because they felt like it was easy money. A lot of those folks out there, you know who they are. The money isn't that easy anymore. The gigs aren't coming as easy as they used to in most markets. There's a lot involved in doing wedding receptions. It's hard to make money in this business sometimes, especially now. I don't blame you for leaving. There's probably something else that you can go out there and do and make more money than being a mobile DJ right now. So if you're getting out, I don't blame you. Now, if you're doing big production stuff and you feel like that you can't do that anymore so you're getting out, but you love DJing, have you thought about scaling back? I had to do it after my stroke. I had to get smaller stuff and you know, not do the big trussing setups anymore by myself. I've scaled way back and I am having fun and I've been doing it for nine years now and all is well. But yeah, I mean, that's an option for some of you. You don't have to completely exit the business. You can still keep that little stash of gear with a cover over it in the corner of the garage. And when a gig pops up, throw it in the truck and go. I will say that there are people getting into this business now as well, believe it or not. I've got a friend in Melbourne, Australia, who's 50 years old, and he's just getting into it. And he's prepping and preparing right now. He's putting his equipment together. He's getting his sea legs. He's learning his music. He's getting a lot of theory under his belt. He's in the chill room, and, and we're just feeding him stuff constantly, and he loves it. By the time we are seeing something that resembles normal again, he's going to be ready to go out there and do his thing. My daughter just started an events company. She's doing wedding planning and chair covers and linens and centerpieces and photo booth. She had her first gig in June and she's getting inquiries for 2022. In fact, she called me for one the other day, seeing if I was available. I'm like, 2022? Yeah, people are punning ahead, that far ahead. And she's getting those bookings and she's working with these people. But it's always been a revolving door. And if you're ready to get out and you were looking for an excuse to get out, yeah. This year is a great excuse to get out. But if you love it and you don't know how to do anything else, hang tight, adapt, evolve, and ride the storm out because that's the only choice a guy like me has. And that's what I'm going to do. That's it. Just a quick video from the porch. We'll see you soon. Take care, practice, and enjoy.